Today we're reviewing the K57 RGB wireless keyboard from Corsair. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Twins Reviews video. Today we are taking a look at the K57 RGB wireless keyboard by Corsair. Now this is the unboxing portion of the video so you can go ahead and skip to this time frame if you don't want to see this because it is pretty simple. Uh, I digress anyway, let's take a look at what is in the box. The keyboard of course with some nice packaging, I like the playthrough whatever uh, touch on the on the box, pretty unique. And there's the useless manual that no one will read of course. Now below that you can get the USB charging cable that charges your keyboard. You don't actually have to plug it in because it is wireless but you can plug it in and there's the armrest that you can attach uh, to your keyboard it is pretty pretty decent pretty comfortable corsair always has those uh, so uh, pretty standard if i do say so myself now there's the keyboard it's got the little uh usb that is uh, stored in the keyboard it's not an actual usb port it's just a slot that you can put it in and it's pretty uh, secure so that's not falling out or anything like that uh, pretty good touch and i do like their logo there it's Pretty, pretty nice and there's the switch of course with the USB. Now we will take a look at more of its features and our opinions in the next portion of the video where we talk about it. Hello guys welcome back to Twins Reviews channel where we give our honest opinions about products. I tell the pros, I tell the cons and today as we mentioned we are reviewing the K57 RGB wireless keyboard by Corsair. Now this keyboard is a little bit dated already so it's not like a new release or anything. Uh, but basically the reason why I was looking into getting a, a wireless, uh, no, not mechanical, because this isn't actually a mechanical keyboard. So for those that were wondering, and you can click off now if you were looking for a wireless keyboard, that's mechanical. But something like a mechanical keyboard, and I was thinking of what kind of keyboard I can get that can plug into an Xbox for a friend. And one of them was uh, this one. So, so the K57. RGB popped up right now. It is on Amazon for around 75 bucks. So it did drop in price since it was released. It was like around a hundred dollars uh, But for $75, I think this is a very good purchase uh, Just to get that out of the way now a lot of people will uh, or did hate on this product because it is basically a blatant remake of the K55 keyboard by Corsair which was wired it was basically the same design same everything really um, except this is wireless uh, so basically people just wanted a different change and it didn't really happen uh, and they complain about the $100 uh, price because there were other things that you could get but since Corsair is actually a very good company I use a lot of Corsair products myself uh, $75 for a wireless keyboard that is RGB and customizable in the IQ, which is uh, the Corsair um, program, where you can basically program how it lights up and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, but that's a whole nother video for itself. There is a switch right here for the power. So I can like turn it on. Oh, it's actually glowing. It's not actually plugged into anything, but it's on. So I guess that's cool. Uh, now, it does work with the Xbox. Uh, for games that are compatible, of course. Uh, so, for instance, Battlefield is not, uh, they, they refuse to do keyboard stuff. Uh, so, you can't actually play Battlefield with this, unfortunately. You have to get the expensive thing that converts your controller into a keyboard or whatever. But for the games that are compatible with keyboard, uh, this works and it's fantastic. Yeah, so I have a different uh, Corsair keyboard. Uh, it's also Corsair. I also use the little IQ manager thing that they have. It's a pretty cool little. Uh, uh, little function or little little app I guess on your PC uh, You can like change whatever what the keys light up like when you press a key a key lights up or like it, Like there's a pattern. I don't know. It's it's cool makes for some aesthetic aesthetically pleasing uh, Aesthetically pleasing environment in your room uh, So I, I definitely use the light up function a lot so I could definitely see how this would also be Pretty great. Uh, the clickiness, I do enjoy the clickiness. This one isn't the, as clicky as the other one, but it is, it's got like a, it's like a soft clickiness. So yeah, I definitely do like the design of the keyboard. It's, you know, it's very thin. It's not too thick. Won't, uh, you know, won't take up too much space. There's some keyboards that are like bigger 
This one's a little pretty average, but it's thin. It's a uh, pretty easy to carry around if you need to do so. That's pretty great. On to a little bit more of the description of the keyboard. It is plastic, so a pretty big turnoff for a lot of people. It's pretty. Uh, Feels a little bit cheap in your hands, uh, but that also makes for its lightness. And regarding the size, you can add the little handlebar thing that Corsair always does. It's uh, not the most comfortable of things, but it, it makes it a little better, I guess, if you like this, yeah. that kind of stuff. Also, the uh, USB that is stored, it's right in here. Um, it's like just a pocket for a USB. And you basically uh, just plug that into your computer and it just works. Uh, so literally no setup. You don't even have to download IQ for this to work. There is a charging port right here. It does last around like 36 hours or something. So if you do charge it overnight, you literally have no problems. Um, and it, even if you game for 24 hours straight, like you'll <laughs> still be fine. Let's move on to some of the things that of course are not the best. One of them I already mentioned is the plastic. Uh, it is just kind of, you know, just a cop meh. out. It's a cop out. Yeah, we can call it a cop out. One more thing that I did mention is that this keyboard is not actually mechanical. So for those folks that are a fan of mechanical keyboards, uh, this is not a keyboard for you at all. So just forget about it. It does have rubber dome switches, which is um, membrane switches, I guess you can call them. They're not as clicky and maybe, maybe they're obviously cheaper uh, than mechanical stuff. But overall, $75 for a keyboard like this uh, for those people that will be fine with having a non-mechanical keyboard, I think is pretty good. I do use mechanical keyboards myself, uh, but when I unboxed this, the switches were actually a little bit relieving because they're literally like so quiet. And I'm always used to being like uh, hearing all of that. Uh, but maybe I might actually switch over to something like this because I do like my quietness when I type. And we can actually just hear a little bit on the microphone. Pretty quiet, if I do say so myself. For $75, an RGB uh, keyboard that is wireless is definitely a pretty good option by a good company like Corsair. He said it. I mean, basically it's uh, like a regular keyboard. You got the little switches in the back. You got lock, your lock key, yeah. your brightness key. Literally basic keyboard. It is, it is, it is plastic though, so there's the minus. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of uh, quiet keyboards. I like my stuff clicky. So for me, this one, this one actually like wouldn't do. I, I need, I need to like hear the click. If I don't hear the click, it's like, oh, well, I, do I need to like press it harder? So yeah, definitely not a fan of uh, quiet keyboards myself. I do enjoy the clicky ones. So if you don't like it, it won't work for you. If you don't like plastic stuff, it won't work for you. But overall, it's pretty cheap, pretty affordable. $75 for a wireless keyboard is a bargain if I do say so myself. Corsair, they're a great company. They go to PAX and yeah, we see them at PAX, so they're pretty great. Indeed. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely a trusted, uh, you know, trusted uh, company. So yeah, anyways, if you do happen to want to get this product, we have linked an Amazon link in the description for the cheapest, most affordable price where you can get it. Uh, just click click on, on that and you can uh, purchase yourself the keyboard. If uh, you like our videos, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, that let, let us know you like the videos, and of course, the bell to notify yourself when a new video goes up because YouTube likes to not send out notifications. And yeah, also check out our blog in the description. It's Twins Reviews and also our Instagram as well, uh, Twins Reviews. And I think it's Twins Review, Twins Reviews, something like that. But yeah, it's, it's an at, it'll be in there. And yeah, that's about it.